Hello ladies and gents, my name is Guilty and here is the review of Squirm. Squirm was made and published by Alex Carpenter. It is basically a platformer with pixel graphics and small difficulty curve. Kinda ironic to say that while I died 514 times on my playthrough. Nevertheless, this game is enjoyable and fun, filled with strange humor and design. Honestly, despite of being a short game, I can't really say anything bad about it. It sends you on journey which ends quite strange and maybe even a bit sad. Makes me wonder if we'll see a sequel. Gameplay is fun, difficult and frustrating sometimes but overall amusing. Even dying 20 times in 10 seconds still left a smile on my face. This game is quite simple. You have double jump, a pistol and sometimes you get access to jetpack which can be hard to master. Using all of your skills and abilities at your disposal will send you looking for keys which are given to you after each boss fight. I enjoyed 8-bit graphics and I don't think anything else would work with a game like this. It feels natural and it gives a lot of soul to it. Each zone has unique design followed by unique enemies and environmental hazards. You slide on ice, you get pushed upwards if you're in fans airflow, chased by ghosts or eaten by not so friendly NPCs. And don't forget spikes, there's a lot of spikes. Story isn't complicated. If I'm correct, you're looking for an old friend who has changed things around the place you inhabit. How it ends, well, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but I think you'll be surprised. Besides a simple story, there's a lot of strange characters and they seem to have, surprisingly enough, strange persona. Overall, they're funny and communicating with them is never dull. You are certainly going to remember them after you complete the game. Same as graphics, music is also 8-bit and it sounds a bit boring at start but you will dig it quite fast, especially when you get to a certain level and the music goes from good to epic. Here's a short example so you know what I'm talking about. On other side, this game kinda lacks on the exploration. Yes, you can collect all the stars, but besides from that, I didn't find anything worthy of mentioning here. How unique is this game? There's a lot of platformers out there that have similar mechanics and graphics, but nevertheless I would say this one stands out from the crowd. In my opinion, it has a lot of potential to be top 100 games of 2018. So how much does it cost? Shockingly enough, this game launched with 25% discount, which makes it only 1.5 euros. This game could easily double its current price and it would still be worth buying it. There's nothing else to say. This is a great game. That's it for me, my name is Guilty, have a nice day and don't forget to squirm. Bye bye.